ladies and gentlemen, to the Xander Insurance Countdown to Friday. Be hop and moment ago, we are in southeast Davidson County, Cane Ridge, the home of the Ravens, of course, Coach Eddie Woods. He's got practice in a few minutes, so we were actually uh, cool enough to grab him and <laughs> wrestle him down and come over here. Coach, thanks for joining us first off. Oh, glad to be here. Okay, so you are the proverbial fox in this whole uh, fox and hound hunt, sitting yeah. atop the division right now with not a loss in sight. This could be the first time, if you actually pulled this off, Coach, that the team has ever gone undefeated in the regular season. How does that make you feel? Uh, it makes us feel good. It makes us feel good. Uh, that was one of our goals, to, to grab a district, which we knew was, was going to be very tough. But it makes us feel good that we're sitting here 9-0 and it's, it's, come, it's, it's come easy, it's come wild, it's come hard, but it's here nonetheless. Coach, you come in here, this is your second year, and to do what you've done in two years in this program, what were your expectations coming in here from Melrose, and, and how have you gone about meeting or exceeding them to this point? Um, a lot of people think we exceeded them. You know, um, when I got here, when I took the job, I knew they had the kids. I knew they had the support. You know, uh, we have a, a sports and athletic administration, and they they've given us everything we needed. So um, to everybody else, we exceeded expectations as far as what we what I knew we can do as a staff. I think we're right on right on track to what we're trying to do. Um, like I say, I, I think. I think, you know, everybody else think we can see it, but like I said, I think I think we're right on track what we're trying to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey, so coach, you, you come from a Memphis program or at least a Memphis background. Mm -hmm. You might not have seen the growth of schools like Cane Ridge. That's kind of relatively young when you look at the whole yeah. scope of yeah. schools mm -hmm. that are actually they're competing against. Mm -hmm. So just talk about that being a challenge, making a name for yourself when there's mm -hmm. so many schools already that have history. Yeah, uh, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, we've played at Beach, we've played some other schools, and we got to go up to Gallatin this Friday. It's not going to be easy in Hillsborough. And um, I'll I tell you what, um, like I said in the beginning, a long time ago when I talked to him in the first place, I said um, we had the kids, but this is new territory for them. And uh, we're, we're steadily trying to, actually I've had to step back in my old playing days to try to say, hey, um, this is how you handle each situation. Because it's new territory for them, uh, we're going to playoff mode, we're trying to rest them more and things like that. But um, it's, it's, it's been tough for us, but like I said, we sit here 9-0, and but we actually put the work in. We knew we could at least get to okay, this point. Okay, uh -huh. Nate, Nate, you talk about um, resting guys mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And you've got a lot of guys that, that y'all lean on going on both both directions, mm -hmm. both sides of the ball, that kind of thing. This week, like you said, you got Gallatin. Mm -hmm. Now, do you start settling some guys into some spots or do you continue going both ways? How do you approach this in terms of getting your best guys out there when it's key situations? Uh we really haven't, um, besides Jordan and uh, Amari that plays a little bit in spot playing the secondary, we really haven't played a lot of guys both ways. The most important group that does not play both ways are the linemen. Uh, the linemen uh, we've been fortunate enough to... What would you say, Coach, the most important group? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I just want to make sure I heard that correct. Most so they're, they're pretty much playing one way, uh, and now they're, more, they're starting to pick up on defense more. But we also, also have a sophomore running back that's very good that a lot of people have not seen. Um, he's going to start to pick up a carry load as we play those guys more so on defense. But we're just trying to put our best guy that gives the best chance to win because it's, it's, it's about survive at this point. Coach Woods, you mentioned uh, your TCU, TSU background. Mm -hmm. uh, coach Rod Reed, who's the head coach there now, was your yeah. defensive coordinator. He's defense coordinator. Do you see any of that influence, the old Tiger days, as you uh, you know, coach your kids? Uh, the kids, they say I'm very rugged, I'm tough, and I'm mean. So, <laughs> Rod, Rod Reed is definitely mean. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, just the hard work and, and just the commitment, trying to build tradition over here, which we don't have yet. And, and it's tough going, to, like, we got to go up to guys, we're going to see a whole lot of tradition, go to mm -hmm. a hostile environment, and just t tell those kids to embrace that and make them understand that, hey, we're building our own tradition as well. We're going to try to finish out with a 10 on record. You know, sitting here in Region 6-5A, um, I think it's one of the toughest regions in Middle Tennessee. And, and you guys kind of I don't know if you want to call it a signature win, but when y'all went to Hillsborough and won 17-7 earlier this year, did you kind of feel like that was kind of that uh, that statement win for you guys that, that we're here and we're we're going to be in this mix? Yeah, um, even before that back up, when we beat Hendersonville, the kids believed that, hey, we we pretty good. We can beat anybody. Um, People say that, damn, in this district, man, us being 9-0 is truly a blessing. I mean, anybody can beat you for the most part. Those Pretty much those teams can beat you. So uh, we went to Hillsborough. We knew they was built like us. We knew it would be tough. Um, actually, uh, they, they respect the pass a little bit more than I thought they would. We was able to run the ball well against them and get the win.
Coach, talk about some of your kids before we wrap this thing up. Obviously, some some schools kind of sniffing around the program, maybe some some opportunities for kids to play at the next level. Just tell us about a few of those. Well, uh, obviously, our quarterback DJ Thorpe is being recruited um, FCS level as well as the Ivy League uh, level as well. Okay. Um, that type of kid is a smart kid. But uh, we got some kids starting to heat up. Jordan is starting to heat up. Amari starting to heat up and recruiting as well. I know when you're winning, you start bringing schools around. And most importantly, other, when they go to other schools like a Hillsborough and schools like that, then they say, hey, you might want to go to Cane Ridge because, you know. You might want to. Yeah, you might want to go to Cane Ridge. They got some kids over there as well. But I'll tell you what, um, by us returning 20 stars last year, a lot of people think that we're so senior heavy, and we are. Uh, but our juniors are, are pretty much the, the, the backbone of our team, especially on defense. We'll return eight stars on defense again next year. Um, so uh, our inside backer, um, uh, that's how back uh, Jason Bryant is pretty is he's pretty good. He's pretty good. And he's returning our twins that, that play both uh, that play safety and one play receiver. They're pretty good as well. So um I think from a recruit standpoint, um, we got more star power in our junior, junior class, and, but uh, our senior class is solid. But I'm telling you something, if you have a team full of FCS type kids, that's what makes you a complete team. And our senior kids are more so like that, but the most star power come out of our, come, comes out of our junior class. Is it true that the kids say that when you're yelling at them, it sounds just like that? Well, we just went by us. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll, probably, they'll probably tell you it sounds sound worse than that. Uh, but um, the more you wear it, though, the more they accept it, they're okay with it. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's funny how that works out in MO. It is. You take it that is. butt chewing as long as you win. As long as you win. Yeah. 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 It's a little easier to take that constructive right. criticism. Right. Because. Mm -hmm. Coach, talk a little bit more about DJ Thorpe mm -hmm. because the fact that he is getting FCS looks mm -hmm. and you know, lower level FCS looks maybe. I, I think this I, somebody's missing the boat on him, I think. Now, I'm not a coach, though. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I do think that. Um, he's a smart kid, 6'3 frame, uh, extreme work ethic, um, got the arm shit, like you said earlier, can move around. We, we put, actually, he's, he's running so much better, so we put a spread option package in. It's been kind of giving people fits, and uh, but we know people are trying to, they respect that pass game more, but that's really, him running the spread option is really, has been our X factor in our offense. And we're able to score points. So um, all those things I just talked about is what you want on the collegiate level as a quarterback, um, not only on, off the field but on as well, uh, being able to run and run different pay. He can check at the line. I mean, he's going to study. He can do all, do it all. So, um, like I said, we'll, we'll continue to work hard as far as his recruiting, but uh, I'm pretty sure to heat up and somebody come in and get a good play up pretty soon. All right, Coach, wrapping it up. 6 5 A is no joke this year. We were just up in Green Wave country, weren't we, Mo? We yeah. were. We were. And that's who's next up on the dock for Friday. Friday. Tell us what you got to do to stay on top. Uh, you got to stop Joy Mason. <laughs> okay. I don't right. know if you can complete the stop, but you got to contain them. Just, just try to um, make make sure you don't get the big runs on you. Um, like I say, we, we'll prepare for them. Um, can't say like every other week that everybody don't have a Joy Mason, but uh, we'll prepare for them and we'll try to make sure that we make drives out of our offense, keep the ball out of his hand as much as possible. So we'll use defense and offense as a defense for them that makes sense to you. All right. Cane Ridge is the spot. Uh, Rutherford County is about 500 yards that way. Yeah. Williamson County is about yeah, a few miles that way. But we are in Southeast Davidson right here. And Coach, thanks for joining us today. All right, thanks. Thanks, man. That's going to do it for another edition of Be Hop and Mo on the Go. Okay. All right, here on the Xander Insurance Countdown to Friday. Now back to you guys in studio. All right. How much tape do you think that uh, Coach Eddie Woods was watching of the Hillsborough game? You know, as uh, they're getting ready to play Gallatin. Yeah, a pretty good bunch, apparently. I think their defense and Hillsborough's defense are almost mirror images of each other. In mm. fact, we were talking a little off camera, and he felt like Hillsborough would win that game against Gallatin last week. He felt like Hillsborough's defense matched up well with what Gallatin tried to do offensively, and I think they've kind of got the blueprint in terms of what they want to try to get done Friday night. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Dude ran for 2,000 yards so far in the season. That's not going to be any easy task. Hey, listen, we come back. we got more to break down as far as our peak performers. And, of course, we're going to take a look at all the class rankings in Middle Tennessee when we come back right here on the Xander Insurance Countdown to Friday. As we go to break, it's Henry County versus Brentwood. Take a look. We'll be right back. <laughs> 